Hello my dear friends, your host Shurma here. A very warm welcome to all of you on a warm Sunday evening in my country that is Bharat, India. Would you like to paint some cool blue roses along with me in one stroke style? Well, then let's get started. Here is the list of materials which I would be using for today's project. So let's begin with chapter number one, choosing the background for the floral painting. Now I have three elements with me as you see on the screen. The first one is the white card base. It is a side folding card and it is four inches by five and a half inches in size. The next element is a piece of black cardstock which is of size 2 inches by 5 and a half inches and the third one is a leftover piece from a previous project and it is a white watercolor paper with a blue watercolor background and it is 3 inches by 5 and a half inches and as you see it snugly fits over the black cardstock and that is how I'm going to use it for the project. Now how I have created this watercolor background, I am going to demonstrate to you in a bit. So here I have a piece of white watercolor paper and I have placed it on an absorbent piece of paper. After that I drop liquid watercolor aqua green on a couple of spots and I spray with water. Trying to spread the color. And then I use a paper towel to soak in the extra water and then leave it to dry. Pretty, isn't it? And that is the way I have created the background for today's project. If you would like to see the background making process in detail, then please go ahead and click on the I button which appears at the right hand corner of this particular screen and it will lead you to one such tutorial. Let's move on to chapter number two, creating the blue roses in one stroke style of painting. Now I have a very interesting palette today. So let's see what's in there. I have Prussian blue acrylic color, permanent blue light, light blue and white acrylic along with the flat brush number six which now I'm loading with permanent blue light, white acrylic and a bit of light blue. So this is triple loading of colors on a flat brush number six and we need to blend the colors well and that will help us to achieve great results. Next, I go ahead and turn the paper upside down and I pick up my flat brush number 4 and I have loaded it with permanent blue light and Prussian blue and I am creating a very loose form of the rose. Next, I go ahead and pick up my flat brush number 6 which is already loaded with permanent blue light, light blue and white acrylic. You can also go ahead and add a bit of Prussian blue on the side of permanent blue light. So here I am creating the first layer of the petals of the first blue rose in one stroke style of painting. So please follow me as I try to create the blue roses. Now, have you ever seen a blue rose before? Well, let me tell you a bit about blue roses. Now, a blue rose is a flower that presents blue to violet pigmentation and they symbolize mystery or attaining the impossible. They do not exist naturally. But researchers have used genetic modification to create roses that contain the blue pigment that is called delphinidin. That is the chemical 
that gives the blue color to the rose. So you see, if you would like to come across as enigmatic and mysterious, then the blue rose is for you. Blue roses point to fantasy and impossibility, hoping for a miracle and new possibilities. Isn't that interesting? Well, on that note, I am back to painting the cool blue roses in one stroke style. So as you see, blue roses are rare and beautiful. Here I am trying to create some highlights on the petals with more of acrylic white. Here comes rose number 2. I begin the same way with the flat brush number 4 and I go ahead and start creating the petals for the second rose with a flat brush number 6 and I still have the same set of colors on the brush that is permanent blue light, light blue and white acrylic. Whenever you need to highlight any spot on the floral image, we just need to go ahead and add more of acrylic white to that side of the brush with which I am creating the highlights. You might have noticed that at times I use the corner of the flat brush number 6 to create some very precise strokes. We need to be careful while doing so, so as not to spoil the ones which I have already done. Since there are a lot of layers in a rose, we need to be careful while painting. So here I am trying to create the outer petals of the second blue rose. This is a very highlighted petal. So here I'm trying to show that it is reflecting quite a bit of the light. That's a little fold. Well, here you see the corner of the flat brush in action. I'm trying to create some more folds on that large petal. And here I am trying to finish the second rose. The flowers are done. After that I go ahead and fussy cut along the side of the blue watercolor paper and I expose a bit of the cool blue roses. Next I go ahead and place the painted panel on the black cardstock and Use a bit of the adhesive to stick it in place and that leads to chapter 3, painting the foliage. Here is the palette. I have turquoise green acrylic color, bamboo green acrylic color, white acrylic and Prussian blue acrylic and I go ahead and load my flat brush number 6 with turquoise green and white acrylic. So this is double loading of the brush. A little later in the video, I would be using bamboo green and Prussian blue as well. But at present, it is just turquoise green and white acrylic. And I go ahead and start creating the one stroke style of beautiful leaves. By the way, do you like the painting so far? I know this is a long tutorial. And here I am going to share a load of little things with you. Hence, it's taking time. But do stick around with me and I'm sure you will not be disappointed. Next, I go ahead and bring my liner brush into action. I have Prussian blue on it and I'm just trying to create a blue background around the edges of the flower. You see how I use my fingers to spread the color? It gives a very dreamy look to those spots. So 
some more Prussian blue at the edges of the flowers. Once done, I go back to creating the one row style of leaves. I'm still having turquoise green and white on my flat brush number six. At this point, I have added a touch of bamboo green to the leaves. And you will see how different the leaves start looking from this point onwards. Do you like what you see? In that case, would you like to know more about one stroke style of painting? Or maybe just refresh your one stroke skills? Then I would definitely encourage you to please visit my past videos and I would be very happy to drop some of the links in the description box below. Well, at this point of time, the leaves turn a bit blue and that is Prussian blue added to the mix of greens and that helps to bring out a dramatic interest to the leaf cluster. Next, I would be creating some purple flower sprays. For that, I have a filbert brush and I'm loading it with purple and white acrylic. And look! What a pretty color combination that is. Well, now I'm going to use the filbert brush to create tiny purple flowers at certain spots on the painted panel. And they are very easy to create while using a filbert brush. Have you tried it? You must try it once. And it is very easy to create tiny little things like these. Well, next comes the liner brush with yellow acrylic on it and I'm just adding some yellow flower centers to the purple clusters. And yes, the panel is ready. Lastly, we need to assemble the note card. So, I go back to the elements which I have. First is the white note card base and second is the black and blue painted panel and a little sentiment to match when I put all of them together. This is how it looks. So that's a wrap on today's project and hope you enjoyed watching me paint the cool blue roses in one stroke style of painting. Please put down your thoughts and suggestions in the comment box below. It is always a pleasure to hear from you. In case you have queries regarding one stroke style of painting, then please put them down in the comment box as well. I would be definitely getting back to you promptly with the answers. Also, please follow me on my social media handles and I would be very happy to be in touch with you. And thank you for all your love and support you show to my channel. And as always, thanks a ton for watching till the end. Here are some of my past floral video tutorials. You might like them as well. So we'll be back very soon with more interesting video tutorials. Till then, stay tuned and bye-bye.